Welcome back to Barbecue and Bottles, and today we're gonna be making crispy chicken wings out here on the smoker. So we're doing these wings three different ways today. One of them's gonna be a traditional buffalo hot sauce. The next is gonna be Parmesan salt and pepper. And then the last is a lemon lime pepper wing as well. And again, all these low sugar, low carb. So if you're into that kind of thing, stick with us. So we've got 100 chicken wings here from our local butcher. You'll see some of them are the drums, the others are the flats. We don't have any wing tips in here, so we're just gonna do drums and flats. Now as a first step, you wanna make sure you dry these off. So we've got some paper towel here. We're just gonna go through the process here of getting these really dry. Now it takes a little while, but this is one of the key steps to making sure that you end up getting a really crispy finish on these guys. Now if you have the time, what you can do is actually do this the night before and dry all these out, get them on a cooling rack, salt them up, and then put them in the fridge overnight. And if you do that dry brine for 24 hours, again, it'll just get a really, really dry exterior and skin on these chicken wings, and you'll really notice a difference in the crispiness. We've got 100 wings here. We, we also didn't plan ahead, so that's an optional step, not absolutely necessary. So now that we've got the wings dried out, we're just gonna add our seasoning. So we've got salt, pepper, granulated garlic, and paprika. So we're gonna go in, get a generous amount of salt here. And you can use any salt you want, as long as it's not iodized. So sea salt, kosher salt, finishing salt if you want. And then just make sure you get that mixed around nice and evenly. And then we'll go in, do the same thing with our black pepper. And for your black pepper, you want a nice coarse ground black pepper, just so that it sits on the skin there, provides a nice little bite, snap, or heat when you dig into your wing. Perfect. Now a little granulated garlic. Smells so good. I'm just a garlic junkie. So you can adjust the amount that you're using just depending on your own flavor preferences. And then lastly, some paprika. Now this is more for color than anything, just to make sure we get some nice dark, looking wings and then just get in there both hands right at the end make sure you've got that seasoning evenly combined around all your wings here so you'll see all three of our wings have started off the same way in terms of the seasoning that we're adding and now this is where they start to differ so we're going to move about a third of our wings into a separate bowl and we're going to add in some parmesan cheese I'll be generous with this you want this to get all over the exterior now you'll notice I haven't washed my hands, but I'm touching all these containers. So we disinfect them with an antibacterial wipe afterwards. So gotta be food safe. So now that we've got these guys all seasoned up, let's go fire up the smoker. So now we've got the grill preheated to about 300, 350 Fahrenheit. And we're gonna put these wings down on the grill. Now for the flats, you see we'll have the skin side here. We've got the bone side here. What you wanna do is actually put the skin side up and then as the chicken fat renders, that's gonna melt out of the skin side and just make sure we maintain a really nice and moist and juicy flat over the course of this cook. For the drums, it doesn't matter what way they go. If you can try and get the skin up, that's great, but there's skin that goes all the way around the drums as well. So they just get these onto the grill, get them spaced out so they're not touching each other. Now for our Parmesan wings, we'll squeeze these in here at the end. Now with the grill filled up, we're just gonna close the lid down and I think this will take us directionally you know, somewhere between 60 to 75 minutes. We wanna take these wings up to an internal temp of about 190 just to make sure we get a really crispy outside but that some of that fat has had a chance to render down on the inside here as well. So we'll bring you back as we continue on in this cook. So we're about 30 minutes into the cook and these guys are coming along great. We've already had a few that we've had to turn but generally around the 30 minute mark, I think this is the safe point where you should be turning all the wings and make sure you're getting them done on the other side as well. You can really see the fat rendering out and bubbling in these guys. So we're at the hour mark and not all of these are done but you can see some of them have definitely crisped up to the point where they're ready to come off. The other thing you can do to check if these are done is just put in a temp probe and we're looking for 190. So there, 
We've got 195. So these guys, I think, are ready to come off. Now the wings that were down the other end of the grill, we're just gonna bring these over, get them on the hotter side, just finish them up that way. And you'll remember, these are all the ones that had the Parmesan on them. So we are keeping these separate from the rest of the wings because we're gonna season them up differently afterward as well. So now we've got our griddle down here and we're gonna do some shiseido peppers. We've got our chicken wings, which are perfect finger food and shiseido peppers just seared up here so they blister nicely. will be a perfect a little accoutrement to our wings. So we've got the griddle heated up. Just gonna get some high smoke oil down, so avocado oil. We're using avocado oil because of the high smoke point. And now we'll get in there with our fresh shiseido peppers. So with the Parmesan wings just off the grill, these are really nice and hot. So we're gonna get some shredded Parmesan on top of those guys. Now while they're still hot, you wanna mix that around so that these Parmesan can actually melt into the wings. Periodically, as the shiseidos are searing away, you're just gonna to wanna to move them around so that they don't burn. You get a nice even blister all around the peppers. So we've got our wings, they're set up in their three different batches. So for the first batch, this is what we're gonna make the buffalo sauce out of. So for the sauce, we just put in a quarter cup of butter and then added in our favorite hot sauce. And then we melted that butter on the stove till we've got a really nice even sauce and then just pour that in over the top. Now I'll just mix these guys up. Beautiful. Now for our lemon lime wings. Gonna take lime, just roll it like this. Squeeze it through your fingers so you catch any seeds that are in there. And then we'll do the same with a lemon. Beauty. And then for these guys, we're gonna add a little bit of extra pepper here at the end as well. Now we're just gonna take some chive that we've got fresh out of the garden here. So that's just a little garnish. And now for some blue cheese dressing, we're gonna go in, our preference is add a little bit of Caesar. You can use ranch as well. And then we've got some crumbled up blue cheese that we're just gonna add in on top of that. Mix that around, looks great. Now we're just gonna check on the shiseidos. You can see these have all blistered away here nicely now. So it's time to get these guys off. So we've got our shiseidos on. Now we're gonna get some of our lemon lime chicken wings down here, right in the middle. Now we'll get some of our Parmesan wings. This is the next layer. Oh, this smells absolutely incredible. Just diabolical. Sprinkle a little bit of that cheese from the bottom of the bowl, just over top. It's got all the renderings from the chicken. Beautiful. Now we'll take a few of our hot wings. And then just add in a little bit of your chives for color. So we're gonna try these wings, starting with the buffalo one. I love the heat of the spice, the richness from the butter. That's just an absolute classic wing. Now we're gonna go in for one of the Parmesan wings. That was really nice and juicy. The fat on that wing had fully rendered down. You got a little bit of creaminess from the cheese. No spice at all. Maybe a bit from the black pepper, but that's a low spice wing, really good. Now, I'm gonna take one of these guys. These are the lemon limes. Let's see how that turned out. That's really good. You've got some of the acidity from the citrus in there, the lemon and the lime. That actually pairs really nice with the richness and fattiness of the wing. So to be honest, I don't think I have a favorite out of these. If I was leaning to any favorites, it would be the spicy buffalo and the lemon lime. Those are definitely my preferred over the Parmesan. But if you're doing 100 wings like we did here, might as well do them in a bunch of different flavors and see which one you like best. So thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, smash that like button. It really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. Otherwise, consider subscribing to the channel for more of these recipe videos out on the smoker, barbecue, or grilling to come. Thanks for tuning in.